Hey guys, it's Nicole or Nikki Bricks here. And seeing as I just very recently completed my Marvel CMF, it only took me 17 days after their release. And thank you to my local Lego store for having a brand new unopened box and a bottle of hand sanitizer so that I could feel my way through the blind bags and complete my collection. I didn't know Lego stores did that. It's the first time I was ever allowed to do so at mine. But anyway, now that I have all the minifigures from this series, I'm ready to film my review and I have a bit to say. Definitely excited about these figures. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna display them, but I will keep you guys updated. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and start off by taking a look at our first figure. Figure. So we are going to kick things off by starting with our leading lady here, the woman who started it all for me, Miss Captain Carter. Now I wasn't even originally going to be collecting the CMF series, but Peggy's figure is just so cool. I literally, I couldn't resist. I had to get her. So Captain America the First Avenger is one of my favorite Marvel movies, and Peggy was definitely one of my favorite characters. So you can see my draw to this figure. I just think that overall they did a really excellent job. She comes with this really amazing shield, with this absolutely gorgeous Union Jack flag that matches her uniform. And I was surprised to see that she also comes with the Tesseract, that's actually really, really cool. Her hair piece is absolutely amazing. I think they did a perfect job suiting that for her. And as for her uniform, she is essentially just the British Captain America. Her torso printing is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe they put so much detailing into that. And not only did they go so far as to give her leg printing, but also side leg printing and arm printing. I mean, they worked so hard on this figure. It was, I mean, it's so impressive. You can see why I was drawn to her. Now, Peggy does also come with a second face printing where you get a more angry Captain Carter, but I just think that Captain Carter or Peggy is a very classy woman. And I love this more smirky face on this side, so this is how I choose to display her. Now, Wanda is the second figure that I decided to hunt for before I decided that I was gonna go out for the entire collection. And again, I'm sure you can see why, given how amazing and elaborate her printing is, not to mention her amazing hairpiece with that headband for the classic Wanda look. It looks so good. She also comes with a couple of those red power blasts that you can actually hold on to the end and shoot out of her hand. And she does come with this really nice red cloth cape that I really like because it's very easy to flare out and kind of shape as if she's flying around. Not to mention this amazing torso printing. Again, just like Captain Carter, she has an amazing amount of detail in her printing. I think it really captures that whole Scarlet Witch corset look on the torso. And it does continue pretty fluidly onto her legs there. Now if you turn her around, we'll take off her hair piece so that you can see the back printing. She does have just a nicer smile, but it doesn't come with those really amazing red eyes that she gets on this side. I guess you could look at it as on this side she's Scarlet Witch and on the other side she's Wanda. She does also have some back printing where the back of the corset does continue nicely. So from here, we're just going to continue on going at random with these minifigures. And next, we have Star-Lord T'Challa. Now, this figure is really cool. He comes from the What If series, one of the episodes that, in my opinion, is one of the best. And he's just an amazing figure, if we're being honest. He comes with Star-Lord's purple jacket, what looks to me like more Black Panther-like printing, which is nice. On the back side, he does have more of that leather jacket printing. I'm actually very surprised by the level of detail that went into a lot of these back printings. His hairpiece is pretty solid, does match the character very well, and he comes with these really awesome Star-Lord blasters that I'm a huge fan of. Now, the only thing missing from this figure, in my opinion, is the fact that he's not wearing that necklace, the one that activates his Black Panther suit with the claws or the teeth. I'm not really sure what exactly they're supposed to be. But he does wear them in the show and they're always visible, so I really do wish that that had been included. On the other hand, what you do get with this figure is you can take off that hairpiece and use this helmet so that he becomes the true Star-Lord T'Challa, which I think looks so amazing. It really does look great, especially with the hair mold that they kind of added to the top of the helmet. It's pretty funny and it looks completely accurate. I really do think that he's one of the best figures in this series. Now, as you did see, because I like to have both looks kind of displayed, I did put this cylinder piece here on the side, and I keep the helmet locked into place there, just so that I can have both looks displayed at once. Not to mention, I think that does look kind of cool with the both of them there. So next up here, we have Thanos Gamora, and wow, this is a really, really cool figure. Very elaborate printing all over. No side leg printing, but honestly, given everything that you get with this figure, I don't even think that that's necessary. 
I mean, seriously, the torso and the leg printing, it blends together so well. It's one of the coolest printed minifigures I've ever seen. And I think I'm just a huge fan of this gold color that we used. You can see she also does come with arm printing and some back printing that is also very, very detailed. You can also see her second face there. Definitely a much more relaxed Gamora. But in this episode, she's pretty intense. So I went for the more angry Gamora in this case. She does also come with this double-bladed weapon that uses a lightsaber hilt in the middle, and I do definitely love her hairpiece with the purple highlights in it. I think it looks really good. Next up here, we have another obvious favorite of mine. I mean, just look at this guy. The new Captain America, who is so completely awesome. I can't believe that they included this figure. He comes from the Falcon Winter Soldier series, and he is essentially the Falcon with his repainted armor and his new Captain America shield. As spoiler alert, this is our new Captain America. It is really fun seeing this Captain America variation because essentially we have a whole new torso, back, leg printing design for this character. And if you couldn't tell, this was just a standard Captain America shield. And now obviously my favorite part of this character are the wings. I mean, everything about this character and I'm talking about the character in the show now, just screams like, hey, I'm the new Captain America and I'm proud of it. Nothing about this paint job is subtle. And I just, to be honest, I love it. I think he looks amazing. Again, fantastic torso and leg printing. He's got some red gloves on, some good side leg printing there. Wow, I didn't even notice that until just now. He's got a metallic wristband or vein rinse, I think that's what you call it, which is probably what controls his little airplane dude here which does just clip on and off. And now if you take off the wings, you have to remove it like a jetpack, which means taking off the headpiece. But you do also get some really solid back printing there. It's kind of a shame that you have to cover it with the wings, but I don't think anybody's gonna be displaying it without that. His headpiece is also fantastic. Accurate hair, I love the goggles. I'm very pleased that they didn't include his ears sticking out of the side because I think his costume looks very strange like that. And on the back of his head is just where the goggle band wraps around. He's definitely a very amazing figure. Next up here, we have another really, really cool figure. If you haven't noticed already, that's kind of a theme in the CMF. They really, really hit the ball out of the park. So here we have Zombie Hunter Spidey. Now, personally, I like to call him Spider-Man Doctor Strange because he's wearing the Doctor Strange cape. And I think that that's just kind of a better indication as to what is going on here. But seriously, wow, what a figure. He comes with so much. For one, you have some of the most elaborate Spider-Man printing I've ever seen. I think it looks incredibly cool, seriously detailed. He does even come with some side leg printing and I'll move his head out of the way so you can see. Very minimal, but it is there. And the arm printing as well. Now on the back, and this cape is harder to move out of the way because it has two layers to it. On the back there is the Spider-Man symbol which again, it's a shame that this gets covered by a cape, but it's a classy cape. I mean, how can you not use that? He does also come with a Spider-Man web, which I'm having trouble kind of placing. I don't really know. To me, this kind of looks like a lasso. Not a huge fan of how I have it working here, but I mean, it is what it is. It's just kind of this wiry piece of Lego pieces and string. I don't know, but it's just kind of what you get. I'll have to figure out if there's a better way to pose him with that. As for the head, his hair does look very good. Excellent Spider-Man hair, which does go very well with the happy-go-lucky smile he has. And he does even come with some back face printing. A uh, much more panicked Peter Parker, not looking so psyched at the fact that he's looking at all of his zombie Avenger friends eating people. But you can also take off this headpiece, of course, and use the Spider-Man mask instead. Now, obviously, that also looks really, really awesome. Really fantastic detailing on the mask there, which, like the back, does also have some very good back head printing. Just the web design continuing on. They really just, they really did so good with this Spider-Man figure. So next up here, we have Monica Rambo. And now, for me, the coolest part about this figure is her hairpiece. They did a really great job. I really do think that it suits this minifigure well, as it looks just like the actress's hair did. Now, if I'm being honest, I really do wish that they had gone with the more, I think it was the 70s outfit that she had in the WandaVision show that was really elaborate and fun. But at the same time, I do really like having one of these sword uniforms. I just think that they could have done a little bit better giving her some leg printing at least. She does have side arm printing, which is something, 
pretty basic back printing there. And another expression on the side. Just a much more smiley Monica. The helicopter is pretty cool. I don't know if it was the best prop to give her. I think they could have done something a little bit better. But right now it's not exactly coming to me what tools or weapons she had in the show. For me, they definitely could have tried a little bit harder. She's not one of the more exciting figures in the CMF. But the torso printing with that sword logo is probably the coolest part. So next up here we have Zombie Cap, who was definitely a favorite of mine. And for some reason was really hard for me to find in this series. All you really have to look for is that helmet piece. But because there are so many shields in this set, it's hard to find which Captain America you're looking for sometimes. But while we're on the subject, this shield is so cool. Zombie Cap is from one of the What If episodes, and he is obviously a zombie Captain America. So he has a more sickly green tone to him. That shield is all worn out from tons of battle. He's got some really, really cool printing though. You can see his uniform is all shredded up, which they did a really, really good job portraying on this printing. He's got bits of skin peeking through there. Even his boots are scuffed up on the bottom. Kind of looks like maybe he had a bite taken out of him here and there. And the same deal with the headpiece. Very scuffed up, paints wearing out. Some very elaborate printing for zombie Captain America. I'm definitely a huge fan of this figure. I'm not gonna lie to you though, I wish we had gotten zombie Iron Man. One, because we didn't get an Iron Man in the set. And two, because we have four Captain Americas in this set. Now don't get me wrong, this figure is really cool, and this shield is like one of the coolest Captain America shields I have now. But it's just that whole four Captain America thing that I, I we should have avoided. I would have been psyched for that zombie Iron Man because he was really cool in that episode. But anyway, continuing on, if we do remove his helmet, you see that really, really frightening zombie Captain America face. Yellow eyes, hungry mouth, sickly skin tone all the way around. They even went so far as to print like little boils on the back of his head. They really did an excellent job with this figure. And even though I wish it was a different zombie from that episode, he is probably one of my favorites from the CMF. So next up here we have, surprise, another really amazing figure in this series, and that is the Vision or White Vision. He comes from the WandaVision show, and by now I'm sure you know, but he is sort of the copy image of Vision that they kind of reincarnated. It's a little bit complicated, I'm not sure if we all fully understand what's going on with him yet, but basically this is our new Vision. And now this figure I definitely really, really love. I just think these colors are so cool. We have silver, some gold in his uniform, and I am really happy that they sprung for some very detailed printing. It does continue onto the side there. Excellent side leg printing. You can see all the kind of droid bits and pieces peeking out through him. Torso and leg printing look very good. Again, another figure with some side arm printing. And if we lift up his soft cape in the back, we have again some pretty detailed back printing. No second face printing, just the back of his android head. He does of course come with that really cool laptop. And now if you open it up, you can just see that it's one of those transparent blue tiles. And it's kind of hard to show you actually, there we go. It's just really, really interesting. I like that they included this as a prop for vision. It's not something I would have expected. And it's kind of cool how even when it's folded up, you just see all the layers of the computer. And of course, like a couple of the other figures, he is one of the ones who is best displayed flying with one of those little transparent pieces. Definitely another solid figure. So next up from the Loki show, we have Loki. Variant Loki. And if you look on the back there, the back of his coat does indeed say Variant. Now for me, that was kind of like the best part of this figure initially. I love Loki, he's one of my favorite characters, but this figure just wasn't terribly exciting for me to be honest with you. The jacket is definitely cool. On the back, he does have that more sinister Loki smile about him. He's definitely up to something mischievous. And on the front, he's got that more stern, confused, what on earth am I doing here face that he has for quite a bit of the show. He comes with a TVA mug. And just the front of the torso printing here is the rest of that variant jacket. Kind of, it's just not my style, to be honest with you. Now, what I do love is our little friend here, this little frog Thor, who is just another variant of Thor. If you haven't seen the show already, he does come with his own little cape, his little Thor winged helmet piece, and he looks to be wearing a black vest of sorts. But yeah, I definitely love the little Thor hammer in his hand. Pretty basic leg printing for Loki. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. It's just brown pants with a black line kind of going down the middle. 
Not really exciting, but his hairpiece does suit him very well. And now here we have the lovely Sylvie, another CMF character who was incredibly difficult for me to find. Goodness gracious, this is why it took me so long to complete this collection. I literally could not for the life of me find Sylvie. Funny thing though, before I even decided to collect this whole series, my boyfriend and I went out and did find a CMF box with only two Sylvies left. And at this point again, neither of us were collecting the whole series, so we just left them there. Left them there and didn't see them again for a month. We really regretted that, but it was really fun going out and finding more to be honest. And I have her now, so all's well that ends well. So now Sylvie is what I, I wish she was one of my favorites in this series because she's one of my favorite characters. I love her in Loki. And this hairpiece is really, really cool. I think the blonde hair suits her super well. Of course, it's a custom molded head and it comes with the really cute two Loki horns. One of them is even cut off like she's been in battle and it just kind of got swiped. She's got that adorable smirky Loki Sylvie face. And on the back, if you take off her hairpiece, kind of weird, it's, um, it's almost the same face. I don't know why. They're like literally almost the same face. This one just looks a little bit more cheerful, innocent maybe? And this one's more like, ha ha. So I guess take your pick. I think the slightly more smirky one is much more suited for Sylvie. Her torso printing is fine. She also comes with some side arm printing and back printing. I'm going to be honest with you. This is my problem with Sylvie. She should be a much more impressive figure. They really should have included leg printing. I don't know why she has standard black legs, but by far the most disappointing part for me is that she doesn't come with her cape. The cape is literally one of the things that makes her iconic, aside from the part that she's, you know, a female version of Loki. But I am seriously contemplating just buying one for her. I just don't know where to find one. Because the cool thing about her cape is that it's dark green on the inside and black on the outside. And it would literally complete this figure. Like, she just looks like she's missing something. So Sylvie is probably, unfortunately, the figure I think that they messed up the most in this CMF. And I think there's probably a good chance that I will try and find that cape for her because she just, she doesn't look right. She does not look right without it. They did her dirty. You do also get Loki alligator here, but <laughs> he doesn't come with his horns. And I don't really blame them for not custom molding horns for this guy since they did the whole custom molded frog Thor. But otherwise it's like, yo, where's, where's your horns, man? Not one point in the show is he without his horns. So he also looks a little bit, you know, not complete there. And she does come with a green knife sword of sorts. That's the wrong color. I don't, you know what, the, this CMF, this little set here with Sylvie and the alligator, unfortunately, it's just not the best. I had hoped for more, but Lego, unfortunately, something went wrong in the uh, design process for her. So here we are on our final figure. We have Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. He has our fourth Captain America shield in this set, just a standard shield in this case. And he does come with another signature weapon, his knife. Now he does have that cleaner kind of, kind of a combination of the Winter Soldier and, and World War II Bucky Barnes look. You can see it's more blue, it has more of that classy look. So it's simple, but I do really like this torso printing. We have a little bit of leg printing on the front there, but nothing exciting. No side arm or leg printing. And again, very simple back printing. But I am glad that at the very least we did include that. If you remove his hairpiece, you have a battle-ready Bucky Barnes expression there, but I'm definitely more a fan of this face here. And I do love that they gave him that whole five o'clock shadow because it's, I mean, that's what he looks like. So that is it for this video, you guys. I do hope that you enjoyed my review of the Marvel CMF series. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.